Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And this week has been very emotional and draining for me. I mean, this time of year is always hard for me. I'm always more tired than normal, but we've had some family things that have just taken way more energy from me than I was hoping to give, wanting to give. I have a staycation planned for this next week. And of course, my plans for what I was going to do is not gonna happen the way I want it to because of this family drama is gonna continue into this next week. So this has all very much affected my reading. I finished one thing this week and that was last weekend before all the drama happened and that was volume number six of Delicious in the Dungeon. I had to make sure it really was volume six, yes. I am adoring this series, it's so much fun. I mean essentially it's about a group that has gone back into a dungeon to save their friend but they have no money and so they are eating the monsters in the dungeon and they meet somebody else who's very good at this and so then they're going to look for their friend. They find her, they resurrect her, but it, not everything goes as planned so now they're dealing with the fallout of that in this volume. I have no clue who ever suggested that to me or how that got on my radar but I, I really am adoring it. Then, last weekend, again, before all the drama, I started reading I Never Loved You Anyway by Jordan Carella, which is a novella that was nominated for the Hugos. Nope. Which was a novella that was nominated for the Nebulas, and I had never heard of it. I am about halfway through. I'm hoping to finish it this weekend. And it, this is Eurydice in the Underworld but it's called the afterlife now because it's more modernized and we get two perspectives one is her looking at her memories and then the other is of hades observing and it's it, it i'm really enjoying it i don't know much about the greek myth that this is after anyway but i am enjoying how this is playing out And then for the Public Health Readathon, I have been working on The Color of Law, which I heard about from Margaret Pernard. However, I haven't gotten very far in this. I'm still in the introduction because again, drama. And then because we finished wa watching all of our Harry Potter movies and I just was feeling nostalgic, I picked up Harry Potter again. And this has kind of been my nighttime read to just kind of help me relax at night. I'm almost done with it. I should have it finished this weekend as well. And I, besides, you know, finishing the two that I'm pretty sure I will finish, I'm not going to promise anything else because I have no clue what this next week is actually going to hold for me. writing wrap up. I'm obviously not writing. I, my mental space can't even focus on writing right now. I'm enjoying watching YouTube videos about writing and yeah, that's where I am. For other media, I am working on catching up on my The Midsummer Murders British uh, detective series. I couldn't quite remember where I was so I picked a season where I remembered a couple of the episodes but not all of them and just started watching from there. And I'm I'm enjoying it. And then with Dustin we finished watching all of the Harry Potter movies this week. We did part two or we did uh, parts one and two of seven this week. 
So yeah, I think they are fun adaptations that live up to the books, live up to the heart of the books. And then after finishing it, it was kind of funny. I saw on a Discord channel that I'm a part of that Warner Brothers is now trying to get a TV series done. So basically trying to reboot it. And I've seen like people upset, like, oh, why do you need to do that? You know, these are good ad adaptations. They are, but a TV series is a different medium than a movie. You get to do different things. So other people are thinking, oh, wait, this is way too soon. And I go, well, people like me have kids that are now reaching the age where they can read Harry Potter. I can see where this might actually be perfect timing especially if someone is wanting to get their kids interested. Oh, hey, look, let's read this book and then watch the TV show. Yeah. I, I, could, I see the business move that Warner Brothers is doing. Oh, and we also caught up on John Oliver and watched an episode of where he's talking about TANF, which stands for Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. This is a question I have to ask in my WIC certifications all the time is if somebody receives this. So if they receive TANF, they're automatically eligible for WIC. And this episode was enlightening. There was a lot of how TANF works that I did not know. I just knew it was super hard to get it to get fun or get the money, and it's capped by how like I think you only get it for two years, and that's over your lifetime. So, hey, more on our systems here in the United States that are royally use whatever expletive you want so yeah weird week that's all i really have to say <laughs> i do know that this week i am planning to fill out my hugo ballot because i wanted to have time to sit down also because I need to help my husband access his Hugo Ballot because he has movies and media that he has been watching that he wants to put forth. Either, I mean, it's that, either that or I give let him do my slots since I don't watch a lot. But I have TV shows that I do want to nominate this year, so best to just let him have his slots. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I am sorry that sometimes I'm just a chaotic mood reader, but I know that I'm not the only mood reader out there. And so it's nice to find other people who just enjoy reading whatever their method, whether they mood read through life or whether they can plan and execute their reads. So I'm grateful to be a part of a reading community. I hope you all have a wonderful week and stay safe.